Hi, my name is Celine and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a carrot cake. Uh, I have to take this to my friend's birthday party tomorrow, but I wanted to get it finished today. Um, it's going to be a carrot cake with lots of good things in it. I wanted to do a whole video dedicated to this cake because I think it will be really special. And I feel like since it's close to Easter, maybe a lot of you would like to try to make a carrot cake. First, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 325. Okay, and now I am going to butter and flour my three cake pans. with my two cups of sugar. I'm just gonna mix this on low until it's well combined. Now I'm going to add each egg one at a time. larger bowl and I'm going to combine all my um, dry ingredients. So I have my two cups of flour and I don't think I said this earlier but in this little bowl I have two teaspoons of cinnamon, two teaspoons of baking powder, and two teaspoons of baking uh, soda. Okay so that's all going on here. Oh and it also has a teaspoon of salt. All the ingredients will be listed in the de description box below. So I'm mixing this before I add it. Okay. And this will just be added slowly in. I hope this goes okay. <laughs> going to combine my one cup of pecans, one cup of coconut, my three cups of carrots, and my half a cup of raisins, all in this bowl. That's probably good enough. So I'm going to dump all this in. I'm going to combine this a little more, but it's basically there. Okay. Wow, there's so many carrots. It looks great. It smells great. You can really smell the cinnamon. Make sure there's nothing stuck to the bottom and that all the batter has an even amount of the mix-ins, like the carrots and the raisins and pecans. The batter looks like this, looks really good. So now, the oven is already preheated, so now it's just time to put these in and then bake them. So I'm gonna add just a little at a time um, to each pan. These are going to go in. They're going to bake for about 40 to 50 minutes. The cakes are in the oven. They've been going for a little while. In the meantime, you can set out eight ounces of cream cheese and eight tablespoons of unsalted butter. I happen to have salted, but I think it will be okay. Um, and um, we're going to bring these to room temperature while the cakes are baking. It is time to make the frosting. The cakes are cooling to room temperature and they're almost there. So we are going to put 
Um, oh, I just washed the bowl and it's a little wet in there, but okay. So we're gonna put our room temperature stick of butter in here and our eight ounces of cream cheese in here. So you see it is very well combined. So now I'm going to weigh out a pound of powdered sugar. I have a pound of sugar in here. Now when I add this back, I'm gonna start very slow and try to avoid an explosion. a little while but I'm gonna show you what it looks like so you see it looks pretty velvety pretty smooth um, at this point I have some lemon juice here I'm going to add a teaspoon of lemon juice no a tablespoon sorry a tablespoon of lemon juice and I'm also going to, again, push down some of the sides just to make sure it all gets some of the lemon and it's all distributed. Well, it is finished. It looks great. It looks very smooth and well combined and it tastes delicious too. In the meantime, I have been toasting some coconut and some pecan. I almost <laughs> let them go too long. I, I caught them right at the perfect time. I'm gonna mix it up while keeping the nuts and the coconut pretty separate. And this is later gonna be used as a simple decoration on the top. It is time to ice the cake. This is very exciting. <laughs> I think usually people stabilize the base layer by just putting a dollop of frosting on the bottom. I don't know how well that works, but I've seen people do it. And then we're gonna put our first cake here, our first layer out of the three. And I'm gonna use roughly a third of the frosting. Now for this cake, I'm not going to ice the sides of the cake. The sides will be exposed. So we want to bring the frosting all the way to the sides while leaving enough frosting to cover the next layer and then the top of the cake. I'm just going to repeat this with the next layer. Here's the pecan and the coconut that I toasted before. I'm going to just sprinkle the coconut around the middle. And then the pecans I'm gonna put in a ring around the edge. Now, I think that looks very nice. I will include some shots of a closer up. cake was a huge success. I'm so happy. It turned out very well. Um, I cannot wait to serve this to my friends and to my one friend in particular for because it's her birthday. Um, this cake is a great cake for so many different occasions. You could take you could make it for a brunch and have friends over around Easter. You could make it for birthdays in the spring. Um, or just on any day that you would like a really special treat. Um, I will be um, showing some, some footage from the birthday party and me serving it to my friends during the vlog for this week on my channel. So I really hope you subscribe and watch some of my other videos. 
I'm a new YouTuber, so I'm trying, I'm testing out different types of content. I've done a record review video and mostly some blogs, um, and I'm just loving it. So this was a lot of fun to film. I think it was a huge success, thank goodness, because there's a lot of writing on this, um, and I hope it goes well, and I can't wait to taste it. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.